By the end of this month, the United States Supreme Court is expected to make a ruling on extending subsidies for the Affordable Care Act. But what does this mean for Wisconsin residents? NBC 15's Jalisa Irizarry shares with us the impact a repeal of the Affordable Care Act could have for those in the Badger State. me the Supreme Court's decision has the potential to not only affect those who enrolled into the program but also could have residual effects on those that didn't. If you strike down the subsidies you strike down the expansion of health insurance. Which in turn could leave thousands of Wisconsin residents out of health insurance. If the Supreme Court rules that they're ineligible for subsidies then without any further action, all of the people receiving those subsidies and having their premiums reduced would be ineligible to get those premiums anymore. A number experts estimate is between 160 to 180,000 people here in the Badger State, many of those coming from rural Wisconsin. According to a report released by the Wisconsin Council on Children and Families, one county in northern Wisconsin has more than 11 percent of its residents using the federal marketplace. In those rural areas, people are more likely to to work for small employers who oftentimes can't afford to offer insurance or to be self-employed. So they're far more reliant on the individual marketplace. A marketplace, if removed, could not only impact those enrolled, but also those that never were. Many of those people who would lose the subsidy would no longer be able to afford insurance. Many of them would then decide not to purchase insurance. And when they do that, the size of the insurance market shrinks and importantly, the people who are most likely to keep buying insurance are the people who are sickest and in most need of health care. And what that does is lead to something known in uh, economics and insurance as the insurance death spiral. Essentially, as the sickest people stay insured and the healthiest drop out, the insurance costs rise faster and faster. And that begins to affect everyone, even those who weren't receiving subsidies. Now, both individuals I spoke to say if the Supreme Court does repeal the Affordable Care Act, the government needs to figure out a solution fast. Though many possible solutions have been pitched, it's uncertain which one will potentially play out.